Hello, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to discuss what a bonding plug is, how to make one, and why you might need it to power your RV with your inverter generator. When you connect your surge protector or electrical management system or an advanced surge protector, you may come up with a problem of an open ground. Simple surge protector, not such a big deal. But an electrical management system or an advanced surge may not pass the power you need to your RV if you don't bond the ground and the neutral. This is how you do that for around $4. You're going to need an extension cord plug, a 6 inch piece of 12 gauge wire, and a screwdriver. So if you leave your wire a little long, you can actually loop it out the end here. That'll identify this as your neutral bonding plug and give you a place to hang it up possibly if you leave it long enough. All right, so what you want to do inside here is you want to find your ground, which will be the green screw, and then the silver screw is going to be your neutral. So you want to stay away from the gold screw, which is your positive. All right, so we're going to go ahead and Put this wire under the neutral terminal here and fasten that down. All right, and then we're going to loop it over, slide it up under the ground, tighten that down. All right, so you should wind up with something that looks like that. And we'll bend this wire a little bit so we can feed it through the into the plug here. Let's go ahead and line this up in the middle. Line up your screw holes. You'll have two that are kind of closer together. will be down at the bottom and your single one at the top will be up here. So go ahead and twist that wire a little bit. Go through there. All right, so look something like that right there. Now you'll just be able to screw these screws in. Like so. Then you have that little loop coming out the back. Go ahead and tighten down these clamps back here. Probably won't fully tighten because it is just two, two wires, but it might. Yeah, actually, turned out pretty well. So, did tighten down on it, providing some strain relief, but shouldn't really be any strain on this. So, there you go, neutral bonding plug, a couple minutes time, and a third the price of actually buying one already assembled. All right, now that you have seen how to make the plug, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the generator. You just plug it into one of your 20 amp circuits like so. Start your generator up. Now when you connect your surge protector, you'll see that you have two lights, which on this particular Archon surge protector is normal operation. $4 fix to prevent your equipment from showing an open ground. Appreciate you watching my video. Have a good one.